Good morning, welcome back to the next podcast of Andy Collier Talks Cricket Memorabilia. Uh, I've got a reminder this morning, this is actually a podcast or video cast number 82, so we're going well. I thought it was a bit more than that, but um, anyway, it's uh, going well. Not quite according to plan, as you all know, um, with the COVID uh, virus and everything, but um, we'll get there. So uh, anyway, just going to um, go into a few bits that have turned up this week, or a couple of pieces. First off... Um, is a signed uh, official sheet from um, 1984-5 to tour to India with David Gower's uh, successful raid on uh, India after losing the first test match um, everybody was uh, doom and doom over here and thinking oh god we'll get hammered but anyway managed to come back with a 2-1 victory um, with the help of um, obviously Graham Fowler and uh, Mike Gatting's two double hundreds um, so that was a great win for him in there. Um, fond memories of listening to it on the crackly radio, I have to say. Now, and the next thing that's turned up this week is uh, this nice postcard, which I put on Facebook last night. It's a very early one, uh, probably late uh, 1900s, 1900 circa, probably. Um, so a nice one there of uh, Johannesburg and the Union Field, you can call it. So. Uh, Nice coloured postcard there that one. There's a couple more coming this week, but um, that's a nice postcard. And the other thing I'd just like to uh, advertise this week really is this uh, this book here. This is Your Life in Rhymes by Richie Belcher, which is abs- it's a fantastic book actually. Uh, all in rhymes. Um, it's got everything you really wish to do or see in your lifetime really. Um, I'm just looking through it now. There's a children's TV quiz. Um, kick about and you should go to school um, school alphabet, ABCs right from infancy and there's cricket, football Brexit, one foot in the grave there's all sorts of stuff on here now, I'll just do you the um, the introduction for it um, if I can read it properly um, which is on the back here actually So uh, and it says uh, this is an introduction to what is in the book it's rhymes for all occasions to come and have a look there are rhymes for babies and rhyming ABC, and rhymes for old school days and rhymes for kids TV. There's growing up a teenage and teenage rhymes and rhymes for sports we play, and rhymes for work in life and rhymes for Christmas Day. There's driving rhymes and music rhymes and rhymes for social life, and there's a, there are rhymes for romantic for a hundred and a wife, uh, for a husband and a wife. Sorry, there are rhymes for married life and rhymes for Mother's Day. And there are rhymes for hobbies to pass the time away. There's shopping rhymes to keep fit rhymes. And rhymes for pets and shoes. And rhymes for TV programmes and quizzes with the clues. There are rhymes for moaning. There are rhymes for growing old. And there even is a final rhyme when life's story has been told. I hope I've whet your appetite. So come and have a look. And read all the life in rhymes. You'll find it inside the book. So that's just a little um, insight of uh, what it's all like. Actually, it's fantastic. Um, and Richard done a cricket one, which I put on some mugs a few years ago when I had the museum, which sold very well. Um, so quite a popular thing. So I can recommend that. All you've got to do is to go on to This Is Your Life in Rhymes on Amazon, and it's yours for a tenner. Great reading, that. Even for man or woman. So it um, should be great for you. Anyway, just sort of do some school cards this week. Um, I uh, had a look through them the other day. There's a few of them, but I've not really been into big score cards, to be perfectly honest with you. But uh, uh, this one here is uh, um, a chap sent me from Australia. Uh, um, facsimile one. Australian 11 v India. And it's uh, Don Bradman's 100 hundreds. So that's uh, quite a nice uh, score card to have. It's got a sort of signature on the front there, Don Bradman. Um, and this one here is my oldest scorecard, which is 1861, which was actually played at my ground at Farncombe, at Broadwater Park, should we say. And it's uh, an All England 11 v 22 of uh, Godwin and Guildford. And on the England team there, you've got the likes of uh, Julius Caesar, Anderson, Hayward, Parr, H.H. Uh, H. Stevenson, Wilshire. Foghorn Jackson, Tarrant, it's a great side there, the England, who won the game. Um, and that actually come down to me through um, 
and a chap called Baker who played for Godwin in Guildford and his ancestors who actually had the scorecard um, were um, teachers at Childhouse School so that's where that came down from so it's a nice uh, a nice scorecard on my ground um, this next little set here is um, some Surrey County Cricket Club ones all sorts of ones here signed by Gary Sobers there some of these um, and this one, which one's this one? England with the West Indies, England with the West Indies Lords and the Oval. Um, that's another one there. He's got quite a few there. Sorry, can it England be South Africa? Um, that's England with South Africa. What date's that? It's 1965. So uh, I know there's a lot of uh, collectors out there of scorecards. Which one's that? That's an Australian one. Sorry, can it be in Australia there? and that's 1972 but uh, what prompted me to do the scorecards was a tweet on or something on Facebook in the week when someone said that they had every test match ever played a scorecard for each one which I'm thinking that is some feat if he's got one of those and no doubt the early ones might have cost him a pretty penny but um, that's quite some feat something that I probably won't be able to do um, anyway another old one here is uh, Surrey County Cricket Club this one here is uh, West Surrey v East Surrey at the Oval um, and the reason I bought this is a bit tatty but it's a 1869 scorecard that one um, got some nice adverts on the back there as well but it's actually umpired by Julius Caesar and, George, and James Street who um, were founders of my club that was the original Broadwater Club um, now Falcon Cricket Club so um, that's quite a significant uh, scorecard for me. Um, another old one here, another one from the Oval, Surrey v Gloucestershire here. And this one, I think we've got uh, WG Grace on this one, uh, and EM Grace. Yeah, WG Grace got 20 and 37 here. And uh, Bobby Abel up the top there with 54 and 50, so that's quite a nice scorecard from, what's the year of that, 1891. Again, some nice uh, adverts on the back there for cricket bats of the time. Oh, you've got, you've got a, a page out of a book here from um, Shrewsbury's team against the six Australian team, uh, 1888. Um, we've got here Shrewsbury. Uh, Jones getting uh, 134 in Shrewsbury, and the second innings 206. That's quite a nice score sheet, that one. Um, what's the time of this? I've got Gloucestershire v Kent there. Um, some of these come in various ways. Don't necessarily buy them as a school card. They come with some other bits and pieces. So um, they accumulate over the years. Which one's this? Sorry for Australia, 1934. Fully filled out that one. Unfortunately, no signatures on it. But um, you got the Bradman. Uh, 244 and uh, Ponce was 266 there and uh, Australia with the Ashes nice uh, card there this one's 1926 I think uh, yeah this one's 1926 at the Oval generally I've got Oval ones being a Surrey boy um, got a nice sheet it's got all the fixes on the back there for 1926 good information which one's this one? England v Australia again. This is 1938. Um, Bill Brown, 206 on that one. That's slightly filled out. Um, nice one from uh, the Oval again. Oh, that's Lord's Big Um And this one here, um, England Australia, this one here was actually cut up by my father and, and used as a back plate for a photograph. When I took it apart, there was this scorecard. Um, it's England Australia 1945 which is a, um, a Red Cross and RAF charities match um, at Lords and you've got the likes of um, Lindsay Hassett and Keith Miller in there, Carmody, Pepper um, so it's a good old RAF team there from uh, Australia but unfortunately cut off at the bottom there we are um, sorry for Australia again 1948 this time uh, three-day match 
I should count the game obviously. Um, Bradburn's getting 138 here, Ash 137. So that's a nice uh, field in school sheet there. And I see on notes um, Arthur McIntyre on there was a, a so called uh, coach of mine at the Oval. And DGW Fletcher. And old Fletch, he got 26 and 18 there. He was bowled by Toshak, or caught Hassett bowled Toshak, and caught Sagas bowled McCall in the match. So, uh, no doubt we had a little word with him about that. Um, it's an old Rest of the World 11 1 there, which is a sheet of paper, not a particular one. It's um, got some writings on the back there as well. Um, this one is uh, South Africa, Centurion Park, which uh, I was fortunate enough to be at. Um, in 1995, so it's a nice score sheet there. Not particularly flashy one, but it's there. First day printed one. And this one here is uh, actually involved with a certificate of uh, authenticity with a big picture I've got of um, England winning at Barbados in 95. We've got Stewie's 200s on there, 118 and 143. Um, great test match that was after being smashed at uh, Trinidad. All out for 43, I think it was. And uh, we came back and beat them quite easily. And we beat the man of the match, Alex Stewart. England won by 208 runs. Thank you very much. Um, nice scorecard here, memories of my father. We went up to uh, Northampton and saw this match which is Northampton v uh, Worcestershire and in the Northampton side you've got the likes of Alan Lamb, David Capel, um, uh, DK Lilly um, so that was a great day and obviously on the uh, Worcestershire side you've got Ian Botham, Damien Dolivera, Graham Hick unfortunately it was a little bit affected by the weather that day but um, uh, it was a great day for me and my dad to go out there and uh, an even greater experience for my dad when um, we were just sitting at the side there and uh, Dennis come to walk around and sat right beside us so that made my, my dad's life I think to be honest with you, he's a big Dennis Compton man and uh, this is one my sister went to, this one Sussex when they won the championship uh, quite a nice scorecard there she's filled in a little bit, we've got on there, of course we've got Goodwin getting 200, uh, 335 and it was 102, so quite a time for Sussex there. A couple more to go here. Um, what have we got here? We've got uh, Ingerby, Australia. This is the one I went to. Um, at Lords, 2009. Slightly different sheet now. Uh, all then piled up on the back there and advertising everywhere. So what was that? So, Good match that. And this one here is, it was a surprise, which I, I never realised. This is signed by Jeff Boycott. And it's England v Australia, fourth test match, when he got his hundreds, hundreds. So he's there, um, 191. And he's back with Graham Root, who was actually ended up being a teammate of mine at Guildford for a season, or half a season. Um, talked a lot, did Graham Root, but um, there's a nice scorecard there. Um, in Australia there, corner insurance centenary test at Lords. Uh, we started that being started to filled out with uh, Laird and uh, who we got on there. Hughes 100, 17. So that's quite a nice uh, scorecard that one. And one more to go, two more to go. In the West Indies there, and this one Surrey v Nottinghamshire. Um, and DJ Bicknell got 229. So uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that uh, little look through the scorecards, which is not a massive part of my collection, but uh, when you add them up, there's a few there. So uh, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that, and uh, I'll see you on number 83 a couple of weeks' time. Cheers.